A deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot, usually in the pelvic or deep leg veins, occasionally in the upper extremity veins, but this is a potentially major medical problem because if the blood clot breaks off, its natural route of travel is through the heart and into the lungs where it can cause a potentially deadly pulmonary embolism. A pulmonary embolism is a blood clot uh, that is larging in the pulmonary arteries. It can choke off the blood supply to the heart. It can cause right heart failure, collapse, and at times sudden death. Well, for DVT, I would say the number one symptom is a Charlie horse in the calf that simply doesn't go away. And uh, very many people dismiss this as a muscle ache and don't realize they might be an underlying serious condition that requires diagnosis and treatment. For pulmonary embolism, the number one symptom would be otherwise unexplained breathlessness. But pulmonary embolism can also um, present as fainting that's unexplained, or it can present as anxiety. The symptoms can mimic pneumonia or heart attack. Uh, it can be very nonspecific at times. That makes it challenging to diagnose accurately. With traveling, there's the risk of dehydration, and when there's dehydration, the blood thickens up. Uh, also, there is the risk of just sitting in the same position, and when we're sitting in one position and not moving around, uh, the blood doesn't circulate quite as quickly as it might otherwise, so there's the risk of blood clots from that. So it's important to take preventive measures when traveling, and these include staying very well hydrated, uh, getting up at least once every two hours, uh, whether that's on a plane to use the bathroom facilities, or on a train to go to the snack car, or to stop at a gas station if you're traveling by automobile. Uh, don't stay in the same positions. Well, the fundamental treatment for DVT and pulmonary embolism is anticoagulation or blood thinning. We have four FDA-approved novel oral anticoagulants, all approved within the past five or six years for the treatment of DVT or PE. So we're in an exciting era where we have more choices as healthcare providers of what to prescribe. Some of the more recent innovations that our thrombosis research group have undertaken include a new device uh, that combines a special catheter that does ultrasound buzzing of the clot to help dissolve it in conjunction with giving clot busting therapy. Uh, we've also been on the forefront of developing a new filter that can be placed in the largest vein uh, at the bedside uh, to prevent a DVT from traveling its usual route from the legs into the lungs, and the filter can catch a lot of these DVTs that might otherwise be fatal. Well, the best way to prevent DVT is with a heart-healthy lifestyle. Plenty of daily exercise. The American Heart Association recommends at least 30 minutes of exercise daily for at least six days per week. A good nutritional plan as well, and just awareness of one's body.